Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, Thoughts on the Torah. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So in the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 41, chapter 12, verse 41, describes what happened at the end of the time, the end of the period of time, that is, when the Jewish people, the children of Israel, were destined to stay in Egypt and now experience the exodus, leave from Egypt. And it says it was at the end of 430 years, which if we go back to the uh, covenant of the pieces with Abraham, was exactly 430 years. God said they'll be in exile for 400 years. And so, it is at the end of that time, and it was on this very day, it was on this very day that God took out all the ranks of the children of Israel from Egypt. What are these words? Quote, and it was on this very day. What do these words mean? What is it telling us? How would this have verse have read had it just said it was at the end of 430 years and God took out the children of Israel. God took out all the ranks of the children of Israel from Egypt. Obviously, he took them out on that day. That was the end of the 430 days. What is the Torah telling us with this? What is the hint here? The best way to answer it is to find elsewhere in the Torah that this very same expression is used. So if you look back in Genesis chapter 7, verse 13, and it says, Be'etzem hayom hazeh banoach, on this very day, or in the midst of this very day, came Noah and his sons, his wife and their, and their wives, meaning his family and all the animals came into the ark and then it describes how God sealed it behind him. You see, that's the second place. Now, there's a third instance in the Torah, not too far from that one. And that is, again, in the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 26, describes how Abraham fulfilled the commandment of circumcising himself and his son. And at the time, he only had one son, Yishmael. And thus it says, it reads, hayom nimol Abraham beno. On this very day, or in the midst of this very day, Abraham and his son Yishmael were circumcised. The sages of the Talmud explain that all three of these places are telling us something, something very special that happened. And that is, you see, let's start with Noah. The people of his day, the people of his time, they said, listen here, you think you're better than us? You think somehow you can escape the fate that we are facing if indeed it's true what, we, what you're telling us? We'll show you. This crazy big ark that, that you're building, this, this mammoth ship here that you're building, we don't know what it's all about. We're not going to allow you to enter. We're going to come surround it with the strongest of our goons, with all kinds of axes and arms and machetes, and we won't let you enter. Not you and not any of the other animals. Forget about it. You stay with us. Hashem said, God said, I'll show you whose desire, whose will will be fulfilled. If I tell Noah and his people, his family that is, and the animals to enter this ark, they will enter the ark. We're not going to sneak in in the dark of night. We're not going to hide from you in the midst of the day. On this very day, in the broad daylight, he's going to enter in front of your eyes. See if you can stop him from doing my will. And the same was with Abraham and Ishmael. When word got around that Abraham is going to perform this great mitzvah and be transformed into someone totally different than he already was, which he already was a great person. The people, the cynics, the naysayers, those people who could not stand holiness, 
or anything that is associated with good and God, they said, we're not going to let him do this. We're going to stop him. We're going to make sure this doesn't happen. He thinks he's going to be a goody two-shoes and be better than us. It's not going to happen. And Hashem said, well, Avraham, you make this in middle of the day. Not in the early morning. Not in the late afternoon when it's starting to get somewhat dark outside. No, 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 no. In the midst of the day. Thus, we'll show everyone. And it'll be loud and clear, the message that I'm sending. And that is that if you're doing Hashem's will, you have no reason to hide. Nothing to hide from. And the same happened here by the exodus of Egypt. You see, Egypt was a country that had severe, strict laws regarding slaves or anyone that's labeled as a slave. They could not leave. They could not get out. Moreover, Egypt was a superpower of all civilization at the time. In fact, according to many accounts, they were like the leading empire. They controlled entire civilization at the time. And that explains why the Jews, there was no underground railway, so to speak, to get the slaves out. As there were other times when there was issues with slavery. There was no railway. There was no underground. There was nowhere to go. Once you were branded an Egyptian slave, you couldn't get out. No way. And here, an entire people, millions by number, got out. Not in the dark of night, but in broad daylight. If this is Hashem's will, that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's what God was showing them. That's what was being proven to everyone. The Jews didn't slip out. Or the later the news media could not distort the reality and say, well, you know, they left. They got caught off guard. The, the, the firstborn were dying. So, you know, the Jews took advantage of that and they seized the opportunity and they got out of there very quickly. And while the guards, you know, couldn't see them and the surveillance was not uh, as it should be because everybody was caught off guard. Oh, no, no, no. God said, in the broad daylight. Because this is what God's will is. So the message for us is no one has to stand on a street corner and scream. That's not something we should do. But you and me, when we're observing, we're living, observing God's will, living our life in accordance with what he wants us to do, we have nothing to hide from. We should not be ashamed. We should be proud. Do it out in the open. Let it be known that you are not afraid. You are not shy and certainly not embarrassed by doing what is right, by doing Hashem's will.